Okay, hi guys, welcome back to a new video. And this video, I'm going to do my very first reading vlog um, with you guys. And the book I'm going to read is called Powerless by Lauren Roberts. And I'm sure you've been hearing of this book lately because it's definitely um, getting more and more popular. Um, and I've just been seeing it a lot lately and everyone just raving about it. So I'm very excited to read this. Um, I really don't know much about it and I wanted to go into it like pretty blind. But it's obviously a fantasy and it has romance in it. And I know it has aspects of like the Hunger Games because there's some sort of trials that they're like competing in. So obviously high stakes and enemies to lovers. And that's pretty much all I know, but I'm just so excited to jump into this book because I've just heard the most amazing things. So yeah, I'm going to read this with you guys. And first I'm gonna go make a coffee. Okay. This <laughs> Peanut is making an entrance. He does this whenever I try to start filming. But anyways, let's go start um, reading and I'm gonna make coffee first and then we will get started. Okay, you guys I'm back for a little reading update I'm on chapter 9 so I'm only 74 pages in but I thought I would update you just on the beginning of the book and how it's going so far I'm loving it it's so easy to get into literally from the first chapter you're already like into the story there is very minimal world building like it's super easy to understand which honestly is just like refreshing because sometimes in fantasy books, like, the world building is a lot, which is nice in some books, but sometimes it's just refreshing to be able to just go straight into a fantasy book and just immediately know what's going on. So I'm loving that part of it, and it's dual POV, which I love. Dual POV is my favorite. I want that in literally every book. So I'm loving that part of it. And I feel like that's pretty much it. It's just very amazing right from the start. And I'm so excited to continue on and see what's gonna happen. But yeah, so far, absolutely loving it. So it is actually a couple days later. I started this video on Friday and it is now Sunday and I didn't film anything yesterday but I did um, get some reading done but I haven't honestly been getting through this as quick as I 
thought I was because things just keep coming up but I'm not mad about it because I am so obsessed with this book and I never want it to end so I'm like trying not to rush through it actually um but yeah I'm eating it up it's so good it's perfectly paced and I'm loving the writing style so far like it's just so good and I think the girl's name is Peyton and I'm loving her she's like so entertaining to read she's um just like so like strong and confident just like witty and sassy and then the guy's name is Kai and I'm loving him as well and like their dynamic so far is so good and just their banter and the way they just like I don't know the w just the way they're talking to each other I'm eating it up so I won't give much else like about the book because I don't want to spoil anything but um we're getting to I'm let's see I made it to page 159 um so it's obviously getting crazy like I can tell things are really going to start picking up but honestly like from chapter one like you'll be invested in this story like it's so good um but yeah I'm just wanted to update you that I'm absolutely loving it and it's giving me five star feelings so far so I can't wait to see how this goes yeah um I'm gonna go read now probably make a coffee and yeah I'll keep you guys updated I can't. I can't. I'm obsessed. had to start annotating it because the quotes in this book are just getting like better and better as I keep reading like I had to start underlining and tabbing them because oh my gosh like okay I just need to read you one quote and if you don't want to hear it I mean it's it's probably kind of a spoiler but there's no names or anything but just listen to this quote fast forward if you don't want a spoiler but it says remind me to make you smile like that again when you aren't dying and I have all the time in the world to memorize it <laughs> I can't the dynamic between these two characters right now I'm so I'm eating it up well it takes a lot for me to be like so obsessed with characters like this their dynamic is just everything how they like 
hate each other but you can like tell they're slowly realizing how obsessed they are with each other and I just I can't handle it I'm eating it up truly this is so good I need more tonight because I can't put this book down but I just have to say you need to read this immediately I'm not even I'm almost halfway in but I can tell you at least so far this is gonna be one of my favorite books of all time and for fantasy books it takes a lot for me to like be obsessed with a fantasy book just because my favorite series are like Akatar and the Crescent City series so like it just takes a lot for me to like fall in love with a book and especially because this is the first book in I think it's gonna be a trilogy and it's already this good I can't you guys have to read this but yeah that's pretty much my update for now the other thing I was gonna say are there um, there is aspects of this that um, remind me kind of of the Hunger Games obviously this is like its own unique thing but it's just like really high stakes and they're like in a like trial right now where they're like competing against each other and it's like um, very high stakes and like survival and all that stuff and it's just so good okay that's it I'm gonna keep reading but I will be back um, probably tomorrow I don't know if I'll update you again tonight but Okay, you guys it's officially the next day and I have less than a hundred pages to go and I'm terrified <laughs> of ending this book because I've heard it ends on a cliffhanger and the next book doesn't come out till next year so I'm terrified and I never want this book to end um, but I guess I'll wait till I finish it to give you all my final thoughts so yeah I mean I guess let's just finish this last bit together and then I'll update you when I'm done be recovering until the next book comes out and that's not till next year so I'm losing my mind right now <laughs> you guys the ending of this book I can't I cannot okay I can't <laughs> I need to get over it right now so I can tell you about the book but yeah this book is infinity stars obviously a five star read easiest rating ever this book was truly perfect and what now one of my new favorite fantasy books of all time and i will not be forgetting it anytime soon um i wrote down a couple notes overall for my thoughts about it so like I said before it's perfectly paced the writing style is perfect the quotes are so beautiful um, it's dual POV enemies to lovers 
the plot is super interesting and unique. I feel like with fantasy books, it's sometimes hard to find um, fantasy books that aren't like so repetitive. And I felt like this one, at least in my opinion, was very unique and like unlike a lot of fantasy books that I've read and it does have aspects of like the Hunger Games in it and so that part of it was just super entertaining and like high stakes and I just absolutely loved it. Um, our female main character is literally one of my new favorites and the male main character is one of my new favorites. Like they are both just uh, I love them so much. Um, this book is has very minimal world building, so if you're like wanting to get into fantasy, this would be a great one to start with. You don't have to like think too much when you're reading it, but at the same time, it's still so like has so much depth and like detail. It was just so perfect. So yeah. The tension and the angst and the banter, like I said, truly one of the best I've ever read before. Like, this takes all of that to another level. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was just truly so good. Like, within the first chapter, you will be in this story and it just never gets boring from there. Like, every chapter is so just has you by the chokehold and you don't want to stop reading and this book gave me all the feels every emotion every emotion this book gives so all that to say yeah this book was perfect five star read one of my new favorite fantasy books ever and that's saying a lot i'm very picky about my fantasy books and i just feel very strongly about this one so please read this um i'll stop talking about it now um but yeah thank you so much for watching this video let me know if you want me to do more reading vlogs or just certain types of reading vlogs i was planning to do more books in this video but i feel like it's probably long enough with just this one but let me know if you want me to do um longer ones in the future but yeah thank you so much again for watching and i will see you in the next one